today I am here with Carrie because we are doing a special video together that was very requested by a lot of you, and that is how I get my hair cut. So Carrie just cut my hair, and we didn't do a full cut today, right? No, we just did more of like a shape up, like a clean up so that you can keep growing. Yeah, because I want to grow my hair out a little bit longer, so I didn't want to take up too much length. You guys will be able to see how Carrie cuts my hair. We also answer your most asked questions. So Carrie has been cutting my hair for, we're trying to figure this out, and it's like... At least a couple years. Yeah. I don't know when, but at I least know, a couple. Because <laughs> time flies so quickly yeah. that I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe it's been that long. Mm -hmm. I love it when Carrie cuts my hair. I've never been <laughs> so happy with my hair, and I feel like we've really done some fun things together. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I love this haircut. So Carrie has a YouTube channel, and what do you do on your channel? I talk about all things beauty, so I talk about hair, I talk about makeup and skincare, just kind of everything, and I don't do really crazy dramatic looks that people can't do on themselves. And that's why I call my channel Everyday Beauty, because it's mostly for girls who want to know, how do I do that? And something really simple they can do on their own. Carrie is amazing, which is why I keep going back to her. And she's also done my makeup too for events, and she's incredible. So make sure you check out her channel. But we're gonna get into <laughs> the actual hair cutting of it all. So here we go. I thought it would be good to start off with the most asked question. What is your hairstyle called? An angled bob or something else? I would call your haircut an angled lob because it's not as short as a bob and it definitely is angled because we always cut it shorter in the back and longer in the front. So it's kind of like an A-frame angled lob. Yeah. I think when my hair was shorter, it could have been a bob. Totally. But now since I'm growing it out a little bit, it's in the lob territory. Yeah. <laughs> I love that name, lob. <laughs> You're in the lob zone right now. <laughs> so how are you starting this off? Since you're growing your hair and we're not cutting a ton off, I am gonna cut your hair dry so that we aren't losing a ton of length and we're just gonna shape it more than anything and help you grow it longer. The next question is from Julie. How often do you trim your hair to maintain the style? Well, your hair grows about half an inch a month. So if you want to maintain exactly the style that you have, you should probably get your hair cut every six weeks to two months, somewhere in there, if you're trying to keep the same length and yeah. have it look the same. If you're trying to grow your hair, I would say stretch a little bit longer, do every three to four months. The longest that you want to go is six months. Once you hit the six month mark, that's when you start to get the breakage and the damage from yeah. heat styling. And like we said before, that's when you have to cut off more hair than you wanted to because the ends are so damaged. Yeah, so it's kind of like two steps forward, oh wait, we're taking some steps back. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So Shannon asks, the best product to use for dry hair. What do you right. recommend? So the biggest things I think is over shampooing. So washing your hair too many times during the week, you should really only wash when you absolutely have to. And the other one would be heat styling. So keeping the flat iron, the curling iron, even the blow dryer to a minimum, especially during the winter months, that's when hair tends to be drier. Think about like when your skin is drier, then your hair usually is too. So if you have like a dry scalp, your hair is gonna be a bit drier. Do you have any like drugstore products that you like products. using? I think for a drugstore product, one thing that I was actually turned on to recently is just bio oil, which I know sounds crazy. <laughs> I've heard that you can use bio oil for so many different things. All over your body. You can use it for your skin, you can use it for your hair. I am scared to use it on my face, but I do know people who use it on their face and they swear by it. But I've used it on my hair and it's great for when your hair is so dry and fuzzy and no matter what conditioning you do, it still feels that way. Like the bio oil just soaks right in and makes it really silky. Deanna says, I know you've had dandruff in the past. What is the best drugstore product? I think you can just go to the classic head and shoulders and it works amazingly. It's so annoying to have 
dandruff. I know. <laughs> I just felt like everything I was doing was making it worse. And then it's itchy and you get more flakes and the cold, dry weather doesn't help. No, it makes it way worse. But one thing that Carrie and I were actually talking about is how when we don't have to be doing anything that's like on camera, we just don't wash our hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we let it just get super greasy, which is actually really good for your hair, right? It's really good for your hair and it's great for your scalp too. It yeah. refreshes the oils from all the shampooing that we do. We strip away the oils. And a lot of shampoos have to be more abrasive now because we use hair product. And almost everyone yeah. uses at least one hair product, so shampoos have to be a bit stronger to get the product off. So that can be a bit more drying. So if you can skip shampooing and not put product in your hair, it's like the best thing you can do. Just let your natural oils condition your hair. Marina asks, is there any product you can recommend to avoid split ends? The best way to avoid split ends is not to use a lot of heat on them because that's really what causes the damage. And also things like putting your hair up in a ponytail or in a knot or tying it up while it's wet because hair is much more fragile while it's wet. So when you do put it up, it's more likely to break and get those splits. I use the Tresemme heat okay. tamer spray. I've been using that forever and that's one of my favorites. I've also really liked the Kerastase Nectar Thermique, which is kind of like a lotion gel consistency and you put it in your hair when it's damp and that makes your hair really, really silky. So it helps if you already have split ends, but it also helps protect your hair too. Mm -hmm. And I liked how it didn't make my hair feel greasy. Right. So those two things are two products that I tend to go back to. Okay, I'm gonna part your hair in the middle. Okay. That way it's symmetrical, because I know that your part flips back and forth mm -hmm. depending on the day and kind yeah. of how you feel. So I always go to the middle so that if you flip to the one side or the other, you don't get long pieces. It keeps it symmetrical. Nancy asks, how do you create volume without using too many products that can lead to greasy second or third day hair? For fine hair that needs volume, you don't want to put a lot of stuff in there. So sometimes what I'll do is just maybe like a really light mousse or just a root lift spray. Like I like the Bumble and Bumble styling lotion. I'll just spray that at the roots and then blow dry the hair um, upside down. Cause you want to over direct the hair so that when you're blowing it dry, you want to be pulling it up so that you're giving some lift at the root. Yeah. Cause if you blow down, it's going to flatten it out. So since Ingrid doesn't want to lose a lot of length, I'm just kind of chipping into the ends so that they are softer as they grow out. And we're not losing length, I'm just taking some of the bulk out of the bottom. And you don't cut it straight across, do you? No, I cut into V's essentially. So I'm just like cutting in like this, but I'm making little tiny V's back and forth so that the hair doesn't have like a blunt edge. It looks a little bit softer when it falls. Yeah, and I really prefer that look. Yes, I do too. <laughs> the reason that you would want a really blunt line is if you have finer hair and you want your hair to appear thicker, then a blunt line is great, especially for this length where it's right at your shoulders. If it was blunt, it would just sit there so heavy. Yeah. It would look like a shelf. It gives the hair a little bit more movement too, so it's not just so heavy at the bottom. And I also just really love the shape of it too. It creates like a lot of movement. When I see it in photos or in video from the side, I just think it looks so clean and modern. Mm -hmm. The shape that I'm doing, it's shortest in the center and then arcs outwards. So that when it sweeps around her shoulders, you're getting that longer effect in the front. And then with the front pieces, we'll pull them back to meet and you'll get kind of that C arc shape. Melanie asks, how is your hair cut to get it texturized? I got mine cut like yours, but they still fall weirdly into a line as they are really straight. So that probably was cut a bit more blunt with the scissors flat, just doing a straight line versus I cut up. So cutting up, you're not cutting everything so that it's perfectly even. You wanna kind of keep an eye on where the line is gonna go, but it needs to be really shattered and really broken up at the bottom. Your hair is so thick in the back and you can get that like, as it grows out, especially when it was shorter, you can get that little duck tail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you remember the duck tail oh, from back in the day? Yes, I do. So a lot of times I'll go back in after even texturizing the bottom, I'll take my thinning shears, which are the ones that have the little notches on them. I just go through and we'll cut the bottom 
of that as well and just do a few cuts and that helps the ends to just tuck under a bit too. What hair types do you think work well with this kind of cut? Yeah, really any hair texture can have this cut and this shape. It's mostly just in the styling. You can see more of the shape when it's straighter, but you wear your hair wavy too, and you can still kind of see the shape. It's just now that it's flat, you can see a lot more. For thick hair, texture is everything. Taking all that bulk out so that you get the shape, it's so important. So Francesca is asking me, have you ever dyed your hair or thought about dyeing your hair? I have definitely thought about dyeing my hair. <laughs> but I have never done it, ever. And I know that Insane. a lot of people um, ask me if I have in my videos because depending on the light, my hair can look different, mm -hmm. but it's always just been my natural color and I've never put any kind of dye or coloring in it. Because even sometimes when I put on a wig for a costume, I freak out. Really? And that's something that I can totally take off of my head. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you putting in now? I'm using a little bit of the Orbe Air Style, and it's really light. I just like to use it to polish the ends a bit. And this I wouldn't ever put at the root, but just kind of at the bottom. So we cut everything to the center, but then I parted your hair. And I actually, I like how it gives it that asymmetrical look. Yeah, yeah. I just like the versatility of it. Exactly. And I love how it looks when it's straight, because you can really see the cut. Yeah. Which is why I'm wearing it straight today, so you guys can see that. Yeah, you can really see the edge. But you can also see the texture, because if this was blunt, it would sit really heavy. But because I texturized the ends so much, it gives it that nice shape, that tuck under. And the ends are shattered, so it's not just like a blunt cut. All right, so that is how I get my hair cut. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you, Carrie, for doing this with oh, me. Oh, thank you, it's so fun. Yeah, this was a lot of fun, and I feel like we had a good chat, and I also learned a lot, too. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, where can everyone find you online? You can find me on Instagram at Carrie Urban, or um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> cool. We will have all of Carrie's links down below for you so you can find her on the internet. Thank you again for being here. This was so Thank much fun. You. I'm glad that we did this. I this know. was really cool, and I'm glad that you guys suggested it. Who knew that getting your hair cut could be so fun? It can be when Carrie's cutting <laughs> your hair. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.